All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So with only about four days left before the worldwide campaign or download celebration officially begins, I realized there was something pretty important that I didn't really go into too much detail about in any of my previous videos. And it's something that people seem to be obviously super interested in. A lot of people have been asking questions about it and they seem kind of confused about, you know, how this stuff is actually going to work. So today I just wanted to, you know, clear a few things up, give you guys a few more details. And I want to be clear, it's not exactly breaking news. It's something that was covered in the V-Jump leak from last week. It's just, I didn't really, you know, talk too much about it. And if you guys have seen other people cover it, then feel free to click off the video right now. It's just, I know some people rely on this channel as their main source of Dokkan news. So I just wanted to make sure that those people were, you know, fully covered as well. Okay, so anyways, with all that said, let's talk about it. And uh, if you guys remember from my V-Jump news video last week, I did mention that it says we're going to be getting a hundred free stones, both global and JP. Uh, players are going to be getting a hundred free stones during the celebration. But uh, at the time I made the video, we didn't really have any details about exactly how those stones were going to be acquired. And some people were asking me, yo, Tiger, um, are we going to be getting the 100 stones like immediately as soon as the celebration starts? Is it going to be like a login bonus where as soon as we pop in, there's going to be 100 stones sitting in our box? And the answer to that is no, it's not going to be that easy, but it's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be like a really simple way to get the stones, but we're not getting them all at once. So essentially what it says here on the V-Jump leak is that there's going to be 100 stones, 100 free stones up for grabs, but it's going to be through a new event of some kind where you can do it once per week. So from the beginning of the celebration, you can do it once per week and every single time you clear it, you get 20 free stones just like that, right? It's probably going to be a super simple stage, probably going to be like one fight and uh, you're done, right? But you do that once a week and then once you do it, you can't do it until the next week when it resets. You can clear it again for 20 more stones and the week after that, clear it again, 20 more stones and so on and so forth until you clear it five times, get 20 stones five times for a total of 100 free stones. Okay, so that's essentially how this portion of the campaign is going to work. That's how you get the 100 stones. And it's very similar to something we've had, you know, in previous years. So last year, actually, no, this was two years ago. We had this awesome launch event where uh, it was available once per day and every single time we cleared it we got 10 stones for a total of 70 stones over a week right so this time around it's more stones but it's more spread out so it's 100 stones but over uh, essentially five weeks well i mean it's, it's gonna be like four weeks because for the last clear um it's gonna be at the beginning of the fifth week so essentially uh, we'll get these stones throughout the entire course of the entire celebration and uh, that's kind of what I want to clear up so that people don't think, um, you know, we're going to get the stones all at once. And if, if they don't see the 100 stones in their box, they're going to freak out and stuff like that. Right. So that's kind of the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video. Now, of course, I did mention in a previous video as well that we can expect probably somewhere in the range of a thousand free to play dragon stones or from this celebration, right? And that still stands. So this 100 stones is just one small portion of it, but there's gonna be so many new events. There's gonna be so many campaigns, so many uh, missions, login bonuses are gonna be great too, and all that stuff. So once everything is said and done throughout the entire course of the celebration, we should be looking at around a thousand total free stones. And a hundred of those will of course come from this. Okay, so uh, that's, the stone portion but there's also something else I want to quickly talk about and that is the special uh, memorial dragon stone some of you guys might have seen this image uh, floating around Twitter or maybe the in-game news and a big shout out to air Vegito for posting this but uh, or air Dokkan slash air Vegito but uh, this is basically the uh, special treasure item I was talking about in one of the other videos and uh, this is where we're going to be getting actually instead of the tickets this year. And what's going to happen is you're going to be getting one of these stones, at least in theory, one of these stones for every 50 dragon stones you spent in the last year. So in previous years, it was just one ticket for every 50 stones, right? This time around, it's one stone 
for every 50 stones you spent. And uh, that's Memorial Dragonstone, by the way. I think it's a little bit confusing because they're both like Dragonstones, but this one's like the special Dragonstone. But yeah, one Memorial Dragonstone for every 50 Dragonstones, regular Dragonstones you spent in the last year. And that uh, you can use these Memorial Dragonstones to either exchange for tickets, and I think it's a one-to-one -one conversion. So essentially, if you're spending all of them on the, you know, gotcha tickets, the summoning tickets, then it's still going to be... 50 Dragonstones spent in the last year for one ticket, right? But the good thing about this is that you can also exchange them for specific characters. And we don't know what the conversion is, uh, conversion rate is right now. And we also don't know what the you know pool of units is gonna look like, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming that every single featured unit on the ticket banner is gonna be available for exchange. At least I'm hoping it would make a lot of it would make a lot of sense to me, but we'll see. But let's say Every single unit will be available for exchange, obviously, depending on the kind of unit we're talking about, like a category, um, you know, Dokkan Fest category lead, or a 120 lead, or one of the older EZA units, it's going to be different costs, right? So I'm assuming it's going to be like maybe 50, 50 uh, Memorial Dragonstones for like a category lead, maybe 30 for 120, and uh, 10 to 15, maybe 20 for one of the older EZA units. Obviously, these are, these are just guesses. It could be less, it could be more. We'll have to see, but that's uh, kind of what this Memorial Dragonstone is. If you guys have been curious about, you know, what this image represents, right? So uh, that's pretty much the video, guys. I think that's all there is to cover. Not anything new at this moment. If you guys didn't know, uh, it's pretty much confirmed that the LR Vegito and LR Buhan, or I mean, the Dual Dokkan Fest is going to be those two units, right? That's coming up. It's going to be a LR Vegito and LR Buhan, not 100% confirmed, but very, very likely. And uh, the reason for that is because the um, the Dokkan events for the three-year LR Vegito, as well as the Buhan slash Super Buu Dokkan event are both going away in like two, three days. And uh, the reason they're going away is because new stages are going to be added. And when new stages are added to Dokkan events, it means that new Dokkan Fest units uh, that require the medals for, from those stages are going to be coming. So basically it's confirmed that a new Vegito and a new Boo, uh, Super Boo slash, I mean, it could be like a Super Boo into Buhan, I guess. But basically it's going to be a Buhan and uh, those are coming. It's going to be the Dual Dokkan Fest, very, very likely. But once again, not 100%. So uh, that's, you know, for those people that haven't seen the videos that I talked where I talked about it before. Um, that's it, guys. That's everything there is to cover. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for the worldwide campaign slash download celebration. I'm probably still going to be calling it download celebration more often than worldwide campaign. I just like it better. Like, I know, I understand why they changed the name. Okay, I know it's because they can't consistently hit 50 million milestones every year, right? Like... Um, they could have called it like maybe 330 million or 340 million, but I'm sure they also don't want to highlight the fact that the growth of their game, like the amount of downloads they can get, is actually slowing down, right? So, I get it. I understand. I just don't like it. Anyways, that is today's video. That's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.